Three, two, one. Today's a glorious day for the people that have suffered from lupus. And there has not been a cure, and no one said that it was, but rather it's a treatment. And as we sat through the rigorous uh, questioning and the voting process, and there were 26 individual people that had been in the trial that had showed up and testified. The bottom line of it is, for the people that do watch this video, is that there's hope for forward-looking cure. And that the panel had voted in such a way that they voted in the following manner. And that vote that they came out with was a good vote. Um, I'll see if I can find the data here. The uh, vote that we got in the first one was a 14 to 1 positive vote from the panel. And we have a list of those questions that will be on stockmarketfunding.com as to what the questions were and whatnot, so you can follow up there. The other one that we are going to look at as far as the question was that there was another vote that recommended that Ben Lista be approved by 13 to 2 in favor of the FDA panel. There was another vote that was overwhelmingly 14 to 1. And that was a 14 to 1 vote. There were some specific questions. There was another vote, 10 in favor and 5 that Ballista does show efficiency. That was one of the major forefront questions that was there in the panel discussion as far as when they were voting and it was looking very very bad there in the very beginning I can only tell you and the thing about it is um, the questions uh, were uh, considering the totality of the data that has been listed at a dose of 10 milligram 10 mg at two week intervals for the first three doses and four week intervals thereafter demonstrated substantial evidence of efficiency for reducing disease activity in adult patients with active antibody positive lupus who are receiving standard therapy that was a major question in there. Uh, another question is, is the safety profile been listed sufficient for approval, reducing the disease activity in adult patients with active auto, uh, autobi autobiotic? What that means is basically, excuse me, it really means the immune system, okay? Lupus who are receiving standard therapy. One of the other things is, do the efficiency and safety data provide substantial evidence to support approval of Benlista? And the, some of the questions were quite similar in there, and the FDA a panel approved. There has not been a cure for the suffering people and the people that have never made it to live this far who have died from that horrible disease. So that means that as we move forward, never, n no battle is ever won right out of the gate. There'll be things that go on hereafter. But the true victory is here. And GlaxoSmithKline is up about 3% in after hours. They're a partner with Human Genome Sciences. So it was one of the longest FDA uh, review sessions in, I believe, history. Let me double check that. It was the longest patient testimonies that were presented to that panel and FDA people that were there. And basically... You know, it's pretty hard to sit there and say no to something because of a lot of bureaucratic type stuff and red tape and things that can go in there. As to the next step is now that the panel has approved it and the FDA and human genome and the integrity of human genome did not lead us wrong.
and like so many other biotech companies out there you don't know which one to trust you don't know if they're telling you the right thing you don't know however it was the workaround with the FDA originally when this came to light and human genome has spent many millions of dollars in research both Glaxo and Smith Klein are partnered on the drug and the thing about it is there's so much controversy is is that they never ever they never ever misled or led the investors and shareholders in the wrong way because they didn't and they were rewarded for it and as I had said before that the complication of the drug the complication of the disease and all of the things that go into these things is is that there had to be a decision that needed to be made and the decision that needed to be made by those people who have to have a conscience when they go home at night is are they making the right decision are they interpreting the data correctly are they putting spin factors on it you know they have to live with their own conscience and part of that conscience was looking at those suffering people that probably the majority of them would not have been there had they not been the participants in the actual trial they would have probably have never made it this far but now they've got even more hope going forward so therefore we have done a complete documentary uh, investing in a biotech company we went through this for many years with this particular company I have anyway and this was the greatest day all right one of the things that we want to talk about is that how the uh, stock actually responds is we don't know other than that these things generally I can tell you something of this magnitude we own 6,000 shares of it and we own lots of call contracts as well and um, that's a big part the thing about it is as to what it's going to to do hereafter is you know once again we're never out of nothing but here's something that I can say for the lupus patients I can say life isn't about waiting for the storm to pass because that's what we were doing all day we were waiting for that storm to pass but it's all about learning to dance in the rain so basically good job for human genome sciences and um, we will be doing another special on it um, so basically we will talk about uh, all the positions that we do own on it um, I can give you an account of what it's like to have to go through this something and put your trust in something um, we had some $15 puts. We had 100 contracts in case it went bad, and we're happy to lose that money, every dime of it. We also had some $10 puts that we're willing to lose. But over here, we have 110, uh, we have 110 contracts at the $30 strike, 2011. We also have, in case there's a buyout, GlaxoSmithKline comes out and buys out, we have 191 of the 2012 $40 calls, factual. Um, we also have 29 contracts here of uh, the 121 of 2012 $30 call which goes a whole year out and we also bought the other day because of our belief in it is is that we had bought uh, 30 of the 2012 $25 calls um, and we have those there and we also own 40 contracts that uh, 416 of 2011 uh, $30 call strike price we also own um, 80 of the 2000 the 416 2011 $25 call and basically human genome as we know closed at the strike prices so that is part of what that trade is all about but our focus is about what we went through here at SMF and how we had did our long due diligence we had did our work we had spent numerous hours on research we had followed all of the trials we've been following the company since 1998 
but more recently in the periods of year 2001 all the way up to almost 2011 we've been on board with them and the thing about it is it's something that is warranted it is something that is deserved because there has never been a cure and no one said that this was going to cure lupus but rather treat lupus and make people's lives more comfortable and that's what biotech is about it's going to be a huge boost to the biotech industry because without them we as citizens that acquire diseases never have a chance we would never have a chance we'd never go anywhere we would just simply die and it's because of their research it's because of their development it's because of their hard work it's because of them doing the right deal is how we can get medicines that do help us not every medicine is the wonder drug but there will be some strict guidelines moving forward with it and basically we are very grateful in the fact it's not about how much money you make it's about the hard work that you do that you did it right you put your faith in there you went through A to Z right down to the voting process we were here all day boy you think about something um, you think about something um, and I can see prices right here all of a sudden these prices here 35 36 40 dollars 70 dollars these were never prices that were out here to sell that at that price but there seems that the stock is halted but when I look down below the market here on Arca I can see where uh, how it opens up tomorrow morning we'll find out GlaxoSmithKline has a bounce anyway once again we have a victory and we have a victory to the biotech industry we have a victory to humanity and we have a victory to smf